You have a fantastic documentary out now. Yes, she does. Tell us about this because what a journey. First of all, I want to know when did this journey start? It's called Dear Albania. When did yeah. the journey start? I, I mean, it depends on what, you know, constitutes the journey. I would say the journey started so many years ago as a kid growing up in Boston. And, you know, there, there are not a lot of Albanians. Albanians, um, mm -hmm. or there weren't a lot where I grew up. Uh, we grew up in a very Armenian community. So growing up as a kid, I have three older brothers and, you know, my father's first generation Albanian. So his grandparents immigrated from Albania to the South End in Boston. And he grew up here with uh, four siblings. Uh, but growing up, we would, our teachers would say, you know, what is your back, your ethnicity? And we'd say we're Albanian. And teachers would say, no, honey, you mean you're Armenian. And we oh, go, no, wow. no, no, no. Oh. It's, it's called Albania, and it's a place, and it exists. And so for so many years, it, it seemed like nobody really knew very much about this country. Then you had a movie like Wag the Dog come out, where I remember Kirsten Dunst, like, running with the, uh, with the bundle of, you know, the, the baby bundle at a green screen. And they said, you know, we'll start a war in Albania because no one knows where it is. And so it'll be believable that we could have a oh, war there that no one would know of. Yeah. And then you have movies like Taken where the Albanians are the, the kidnappers and the gangsters. So where this project started was, a, I'd say, a lifetime, you know, it's been a lifetime of people just not really knowing where, where, I came from or my, where my family came from. Um, and then as I became an actor, I did a, a horror movie many years ago called Wrong Turn. And in the movie, I was wearing a, you know, a white tank top throughout the film. And the producers had said they wanted to put some kind of emblem on the shirt. So I suggested the Albanian national flag has this very cool double headed eagle. And it is really cool, by the way. It looks it like is, something yeah. like in the next Star Wars. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, and I have it. I ended up getting it tattooed on my back, and as did my brothers and my father. Nice. Um, but the Albanian eagle, I wore it on the shirt, and I sort of overnight became this Albanian national hero. Nice. Which is very surreal. <laughs> and I've been yeah. All of a sudden thrust into the Albanian spotlight, but it was really powerful and meaningful because so many Albanians had said, you know, it's not Albanian has not always been something that people have been loud and proud of. And the fact that you would wear this on your shirt and be loud and proud to be an Albanian made us loud and proud to be an Al Albanian. And so I was invited to the to the mother country uh, about, you know, 10 years ago. And I had this insanely warm reception there. And I thought, I've got to... I've got to do something about this. I feel like Albania needs to be introduced or reintroduced to the rest mm -hmm. of the world. And so uh, my partner, uh, Fadil Barisha, an amazing photographer out of New York City, and I and my brother, Nate, um, decided we were going to just launch about five years ago. And, and we went to Albania and we went to 15 different cities by in 15 days and started the process. And five years later, we have put Dear Albania on people's television sets all across the country and soon to be all across wow. the country. We're very excited. That's yes. the long-winded Congratulations. Answer.